It's called The Devil Brings French Fries. <laughs> and it's about these two, like, occult devil worshippers um, who start with. They, they, they're normal people. They both got day jobs. Brendan Fraser is one of them. Uh, he plays a TV cameraman for a local uh, news station. James Spader is a lawyer. So we got James Spader and Brendan Fraser, um, two, and, and they meet up every night wearing hooded robes and just, just with their mouths visible. And they look, stand in front of each other and with their holding their hands under their sleeves. So they got that whole one sleeve thing going on in front of their chests. And they just go, oh, 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 oh. like they're like an inch away from each other's faces. It's really awkward. And their noses are almost touching, and their mouths are hanging wide open, and they're just stood in front of each other. And then they pull their hoods down and just shake hands and say, that's some good devil worship. Um, same time tomorrow. Absolutely. I, I, this is James Spader. He's saying, absolutely, I fucking love this. I love doing all the devil work now. Uh, but now I must be a lawyer again. So he goes off to be a lawyer and Brendan Fraser's like, oh, I love doing the devil worship as well. I wish I could do it every single day. I bet if we really resurrected Satan, Lucifer, we could be devil worshippers all the time and I wouldn't have to do stupid camera filming and you wouldn't have to be a stinking lawyer getting pedophiles off the hook. And James Spader says, I think that's a grand idea. Let's raise the devil in real life. So they put their hoods back on and and they're muttering onto their breath, like almost giggling, just it's gonna be fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh, no, I can't fucking wait. Oh god, this is gonna be the devil. He's gonna have chains like an L razor, and he's gonna take people's skin off, and he's gonna go, I oh, am bastard, I don't like you. So that's gonna be great. And he won't do it to us because we we'd have got him out of hell so we'll be happy about us and so they stand in front of each other and go oh, 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 yawning those real yawns uh, yeah I was thinking about yawning and doing that, and that made me yawn. So they both yawn, and then they kiss each other. Because they said, the logic stands that if God hates gay people, which he, you know, apparently does, you know, he's like, God is a terrible fucking homophobe. So if you and I do proper deep kissing with tongues out, the devil is definitely going to come. And James Spader says, that sounds mighty saucy. <laughs> Let's do that, please. <laughs> so, Brendan Fraser and James Spader are kissing. Um, deep kissing with tongues out. <laughs> and then there's this bright flash of light and fire uh, is all around them. And like it goes in one corner of the room, a bit of fire, and the fire travels all up the corner of the walls and hits the ceiling. And then all of the ceiling is awash with fire and you can just hear... <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely a Lucifer! <laughs> you can't prove otherwise! <laughs> and and uh, Willem Dafoe is the devil, stood right in between James Spader and um, Brendan Fraser while they're still kissing. So they've now got their tongues in Willem Dafoe's ears. And he's going, ah, <laughs> keep kissing my ears, boys. You're real pretty. And Brendan Fraser is done up like Ron Perlman in Hellboy. Like, we'll get the same guys. Like, bright red face, big horns. Like, too big, if we're honest. Like, they're almost touching the ceiling. And he's just a normal-sized man. And he's bright red, wearing a um, cut-off denim shorts. And a Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt with the sleeves cut off. And he is going, ah, <laughs> you've resurrected the devil. Now I will grant any wish. And Brendan Fraser is like, well, we are devil worshippers. So 
I think we'd love it if you just stayed up here and kind of made the Earth your dark kingdom and, and we would be your demonic priests drinking blood and having sex with women with big old knockers out. And James Fader said, oh, I'd love some of the women with the big knockers, please. Uh, I like the devil and everything he does. And I really like big old knockers, so... If we could just get some of those up and make it all nice and satanic, get the, the, the girls who were um, Tommy What's-His-Face's girls in uh, Batman Forever, please. <laughs> oh, uh, you mean, in Space. You mean Tommy Lee Jones? Yes, I do. Yes, he was very good in Men in Black. And quite old for Men in Black 3. I totally agree, but we should get... I think Jonathan Holmes said Sugar and Spice, get them in! So Sugar and Spice from Batman Forever come in with their tops off. And, and they're parading around saying, oh, this is great. And then the devil says, that's a fine idea! Maybe I will rule the earth. But first, who wants french fries? And then Willem Dafoe opens his hands up and there's a pile of french fries in each hand. And he says, take my unholy french fries that you may be blessed with my demonic occult powers. Oh, I love some uh, demonic occult powers, Satan. That'd be great. Oh, if I'd like some as well, if there were more boobies involved. <laughs> and they start eating the french fries and... And Brendan Fraser says, so what's so demonic about these french fries? Ah, that's the best thing, you bloody fool! These french fries have the evil power of being delicious! <laughs> have some more! And he closes his hands into fists and opens them again, and there's another pile of french fries in each hand, bigger than the last! There's some more french fries! Keep eating them, and I'll have more piles bigger than the last! Oh, we're all french fries down here, and when you're down here, you'll be french fries too! Ah! And his mouth opens wide, like dislocates, and falls to the ground, and just a mountain, an avalanche of french fries comes out of it, and covers Brendan Fraser, and he says, Oh, these french fries are really hot! It's hurting my skin, but they're so tasty, I'm gonna keep eating them and the rest of the film is basically James Bader and Brendan Fraser once they've gotten over the initial high of having an unlimited supply of french fries feeling a bit disappointed that the extent of power that Lucifer wants to show um, tops off at french fries it's like you know they'll wake up in the morning both of them both James Bader and Brendan Fraser getting noticeably fatter uh, throughout the course of the film and constantly they just bits of grease and smeared potato around their lips. And they're just coming in, just polishing off the last of the potato fat from their fingers. Just, um, um, oh, these french fries are delicious. <laughs> Satan. Not sick of them yet? <laughs> no, they just so many these, french fries. These, I said, they're getting huge. <laughs> these french fries are delicious, Satan. What do you think you could, like, take off of the world to know? And Willem Dafoe says, that sounds like a great idea. I, Satan, will finally take my place as the ruler of the world after breakfast. <laughs> and he opens his hands again and there's more french fries and Brendan Fraser looks a bit upset. And so, oh, well, oh, 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 they are french fries. And he just starts eating french fries out of his hands again and... and, and um, Willem Dafoe's laughing, just saying, ha, 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 my hands are sulfurous plates full of french fries! And James Spader at this point is unconscious on the floor, just... French fries seem to be multiplying in James Spader's mouth, and they're just bubbling out of his mouth while he's on his back, just... And that's, that's the end of the <laughs> 